Hey, girl, hey, what do you do? Hey, you do, what do you know? Whether it's calm and the wind won't blow I'm stuck for things to say I'll let these words flow Yeah, girl, hey, what are you doing? Hey, you do. Good morning. I'm taking my son to school. I gave him the option of hunting or taking the day off school. And what's he going to do? He's going to go to school. <laughs> Got a call from the farmer to go and um, kill some uh, pigs. Actually kill everything because they're ripping up his paddocks. Can't believe you want to go to school. Jeez, if I was, uh, mind you, look at me, I'm a retard. I've got no education. You're doing bloody well at school, so don't listen to me. I'm a bad father. What am I? A good father. Thanks, boy. Get his dogs in. Come on. Oh, I'll have a piss, Jim. That'll make a change, wouldn't it? Come on. Come on. Better get you in the truck, eh? Just wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it, Jim. Not ready yet. He just wants to fucking jump up. Nice oh, oar in there. Let me open it up. Oh, there you go. In you get. Poe, get up. Get in, Poe. Get in your box. Get in, Poe. Good dog. That's a good dog. Oh, shit, I think she's coming on heat. Jim's got his nose up her ass. Or maybe you're just a dirty bastard, eh, Jim? Yeah. <laughs> I love these cold mornings. Oh, and remember, folks, if you're still watching my hand, or at least this clip, you don't like hunting, you don't like swearing, you don't like dirty bastards, <laughs> and don't watch the video! <laughs> Baby goat in the forestry. Hello, baby goat. Not very old, is it, Jim? Thinks I'm its mum. <laughs> Jeez, I've been accused of acting the goat, but I didn't know I was that good. <laughs> yes, I'm your mum. Come here. <laughs> po, don't touch. <laughs> Don't touch Poe. Bugger me. <laughs> Don't touch Poe. I'm your mum. <laughs> Goes fuck off, I don't think so. Just suddenly clicked. This ain't right. <laughs> Hard case. Bloody piss actually, but uh, cute. <coughs> He's not going to buy that anymore. Nice paint job on him. All this been rooted over by pigs. And uh, when you're running a farm, that costs you money, lots of money. That's a wildcat there, a bush line. 
on the bush line where the pasture meets the forestry. And one wildcat can kill around 5,000 native birds in its lifetime. Now this rooting in the native is probably, I don't know, a couple of days old. It's a bit of white powder on top. Obviously plenty of uh, pigs around here, but nothing real fresh for the dogs to pick up. Keep on moving. Bloody amazing. I'd heard about it, and I'd read about it, but I didn't really believe it. Scientists have now genetically modified the possum in New Zealand, so it's self-plucking. Ingenious. Dogs have just gone down here bow and Jim and there's fresh rooting everywhere. And the dogs have come back in, just they're just tracking around, so they haven't picked up anything yet. But they're keen, it's obviously a hot scent. I think we'll go out to this point out here. Oh, okay, well, Diego's got hold of that one. He's come charging straight towards me, see that? Get out of jump. Get out of jump. Get out of jump. There you go. Good dogs. There you go. Good boy. Very handy to have a rope dog, eh? In that situation. Coming flying down. Just gonna hit through that spur there. He stopped it within probably 40 metres. Mm. Okay. Right, well, uh, we'll drop the guts out away from this water here. Take it off over there, and we. That's what the farmer wants, that's what the farmer gets. Okay. Picks in the bag. The river run red. Real bonus having some water there for dogs after a catch. I'm just going to get it away from this waterway, drop the guts out. Here will be good. thing about sows, what determines how many offspring they have is the condition they're in. The amount of food will dictate how many she has. And a sow in a really good nick can have up to as much as 18, although that's pretty rare in the bush. But generally you find 8 or 10 is a good number if they're in good nick. You see the fat around there, look. So she's actually a really good eating pig. And often Sows are in pig, and I'm guessing she is. Often they are uh, in good nick, and she's got a fat belly on. She probably well, had a big feed this morning, where she's got some, uh, some little piggies in there. Where you go, Poe? Where you go? Where you go? Look at the fat on that. Mm. Often with the uh, mammary glands, you get that white uh, film, but that's actually. It's actually flat. I mean, pig guts.
I'm going to try something that my mate uh, Andy Luff taught me. I haven't done it yet. He reckons you can put your thumb in there and take the diaphragm out without using using your knife. So we'll give that a crack. Okay, there's the diaphragm there. So apparently the idea is you rip it out with your thumb. Like that. Oh, yep. Yeah. I can imagine that's going to work. Anyway, something that Andy taught me was you've got to give your dogs a bit of heart. So let's try that out. Who's up for a bit of heart, guys? Yeah, Jim. I oh, know Jim will eat some. Yeah, Jim. Yeah, boy. Ah, uh -uh, not that, but there. <laughs> Trust you, you pig. Big one. Poke him. Here, Poke. Come here, Poke. Jeez, I could eat a bit of that myself. What could be wrong with a bit of organic pork? It's not bad actually. Yeah, Pope. Come here. Pope, come. Jim, not for you. Poe, come here. Come here, Poe. Here, Poe. Poe. Oh, Jim got that too. Yep. Get out of there, Jim. Fucking... Did I want Diego get any? No. Yeah, Diego. Diego, come here. Fussy house dog, you see that? Fucking fussy house dog. <laughs> oh, Jim, that's not for for Poe. Get out of here, fucking... <laughs> Jeez, he's a... He's got no manners, has he? No fucking manners at all. Right. Keep doing this. This is the Andy Luff technique. I'm going. It's not going very well so far. <laughs> oh, I know why. I'm a useless bastard. No other reason, just that. We got guts. She's not on pig. Which makes her. That's not the gut, that's just guts. Nothing in there. Which makes that just a fat eating pig. She's not even got, um, she hasn't even dropped them anywhere because she's not, she's dry. So I'm trying a new carrying technique today. This is also from my mate Andy Two Dogs. I'll call him that because he used to just hunt with two dogs. He's got a bit more than two dogs now. Basically it's tied up here. You can do this with small pigs. It just makes it a bit more comfortable for a, for a carry. Now, I've never done it before so I may be doing it wrong. I'll see what happens. Are you going to help me with this bow? Hump by us out. Where you go, Pope? Ah, fucking bastard got me in the head. Jeez, even with the dead, they fight back. See that? <laughs> fucking pig hit me in the head. Fucking do that again, you fucking bastard. I've got to say, this isn't that comfortable. <laughs> oh, that's cool. oh, I think I like it better the other way. All I can feel is bits of strings. I'm probably doing it wrong. Maybe I need to have a height. Oh, that's better up there. No, now got it. Now we're sweet. That's good. What do you do? Hey, you do? What do you know? Where the rest come and the wind won't blow. I'm stuck for things to say. I let these words flow. Yeah, good day. What are you doing? Hey, you do? And what do you know?
I've eaten the small town pub, I was hanging for a beer. The locals looked at me sideways like I was acting queer. This old fella pulls up beside me and he took away me chair. Said we don't take kindly of strangers that come around here. I gave him a hearty smile as I let the brown stuff flow. He blinked his eyes and stared at me and still I didn't go. He said, what's your problem, mate? And as his anger started to show, I let these simple words out before he dealt his first blow. Yeah, get hey, what are you doing? Hey, you doing? What do you know? The weather is calm and the wind won't blow. When I'm stuck with things to say, I let these words flow. Yeah, get hey, what are you doing? Hey, you doing? What do you know? Oh. A cold beer. Just harvesting bush tucker to feed my family. 